Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I just wanted to show you how I colored this image from the Touches of Texture stamp set from Stampin' Up. It's a beautiful set with many different images for, and just beautiful, beautiful cards. And uh, I love this little stem of flowers with these blossoms. So I'm going to take the stamp, and this one is in wood mount, and I'm gonna ink it up in early espresso. Now my early espresso probably needs a little re-inking, but that's okay for this particular technique that I'm doing. I don't want it too dark. And I'm going to be coloring this with a blender pen and some of my ink pads. Now, normally, and it can happen where you're using water-based, with water-based and you're coloring, that your image, your colors may smear. Well, that's true. But in this case, I'm going to do use a very light hand and be very careful with how I color. And it's not hard at all. And you can get a beautiful artsy watercolor look. So I've done this wrong already. Let me take this and I've, let me show you. I take my ink pads and I press down here. So that gives you a little pool of ink there. Now, if your ink pad is really juicy, you'll have a bigger uh, splotch there as you'll see in a minute with my Dijon. But I'm taking Dapper Denim, which is one of our new ink colors, and I'm taking a blender pen and I'm just getting, getting a little color there. And I'm gonna start with the darkest or with the initial point of entry for the um, blender pen on the paper toward the center of the blossom. And I can do several petals with this one little pass of ink. So I'm gonna get a little more, start toward the center and just pull out. And I'm not going over and over and over the image too much so that I don't pull up the paper because this is just our very vanilla cardstock, not usually recommended for any kind of watercoloring. But for this with a blender pen, because it's just, it's not too wet, not like our aqua painters, you can do it and get away with it and get some really pretty images. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these little blossoms. And you can see sometimes I re-ink, sometimes I don't but I think the variation in color is what makes it so pretty and different, okay? So I really hope you give this a try. And if I leave some white spaces, I'm not too concerned about it because that's a real, um, like a watercolor look. And sometimes I'll decide I want a little bit more and I'll go back and add. I just try not to go over and over where I have colored previously so it doesn't pull up that cardstock. So here we go. I'm going to do all of these blossoms in this dapper denim and I'll show you the finished card in a minute again. And I'm wanting this a little darker so I'm, I'm just going to take a chance and go over it just lightly. I'm barely touching the tip to the cardstock. Okay, need a little more there. Okay, all right, this is really fun. I love coloring with blender pens. It's one of the first uh, tools I used when I started stamping. Okay, so now I'm going to take my delightful Dijon, and look at this, I don't even have to pump the lid there. Look at that, wow, juiciness. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pick up some of this and I'm gonna do the flower centers first. And I don't even think I'm gonna have to reapply the ink on that one. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up some more and I'm gonna color these little buds just to give a different color here. Delightful Dijon was one of our in colors for 2015, 2017, so it is still current and still available. Dapper Denim that I've used on the blossoms is new and I love it. 
And another new in color is this beautiful Emerald Envy. Oh gosh, these colors, I love them. All right, so there I have a little pool of ink. And you scribble off on scratch paper with your blender pen to till you see clear so that your colors don't mix. Okay, so then I'm just gonna do these leaves. This is a really bold color, so I'm not gonna re-ink. A lot like the uh, dapper denim. You don't have to re-ink it every time. And what I mean by re-ink is dip the blender pen into the pool over here on the top of the ink pad. It just depends on how dark you want your leaves. I just like a variation. Some of them dark, some of them light. And then I'm going to take and use my little bit that's left here and go at the base of those flowers. Now I'm going to re-ink again, and I'm looking back and I want a little bit. Now I have seen, because this is a tiny space right there in that leaf, the early espresso is wanting to bleed a little bit because it's so small and I'm pulling that ink in with it. And that's, that's what you're going to uh, run into if you're not uh, really careful. And I mean, you can be careful and it still happen but I don't think it looks bad at all. I like it. Okay, so here we go. Let's do the stems a little bit. Just kind of some brush strokes. This is really fun. I find this very, much like watercoloring, very relaxing. Okay, so I'm going to leave that alone and let it be, and it's ready to go on a card front. And here is the finished card of one I did previously. I really like the look. I hope you'll give it a try. Let me know how you like it, and I will see you again soon. Please visit my website at inkandinspirations.com and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.